like I said, I'm going to take this movement out without taking the bellows out. In order to do that, you got to remove the uh, four screws. We already got the hands off. And I have a screwdriver set up with a notch in it. And what I use this for is to help me align the pivots as I'm putting the movement back together. Also, I can bend these wires right here with this uh, screwdriver. That way, when I take the movement out, I can uh, just slip these wires off the uh, high and low, low note levers. Uh, in order to take the movement out, you got to take this nut off the uh, shutoff valve, the sh uh, sh silencer. And you got to remove that first. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove that nut and those four screws and take that movement out off camera. One thing I wanted to mention is my screwdrivers are magnetic. And so uh, it helps me... Um, pick up things I got big hands uh, the screwdriver being magnetic for clocks uh, I don't see a problem with now if you're working with pocket watches you don't want your screwdrivers to be magnetic because the hairspring on a on a pocket watch if it's magnetized it'll stop the pocket watch anyway I got the uh, movement out so I'm going to take it apart and I'm going to clean it and so um, let's start doing that oh I forgot to mention as I was taking the um, uh, music box out the spring it sh uh, pulls this uh, lever back in came off and so now I have to sweep my floors and look for a spring or find another spring for the music box. So, um, I was hoping it would fall in the towel, but it didn't. Springs go flying. Uh, here it is, right here. It did fall in the towel. And so, um, anyway, that goes to the music box. So, we'll just drop that in the part. 